Hello there, everybody. Thanks again for joining me in another video of interesting things that I've come across um, while working in my job. So uh, this is a, a fairly large kitchen here, but I would just like to focus on this area here. So this is where the homeowner um, had asked us to put a sewing machine lift kit into uh, this, this base cabinet here. So this is um, a pretty good area to be working in, to have a little workstation in. Well, it's kind of big, but um, <laughs> anyways, there's a nice big window here to let in all the natural sunlight, and there's a window over here. The desktop is a nice, pr fairly large work area, but uh, I would just like to focus on the base cabinet that's, um, you know, that I had to make uh, adjustments to. But first, let me just open up the actual sewing machine mechanism here. So this is what the sewing machine mechanism looks like. Um, there's a platform that the actual uh, sewing machine will sit on top of, and it's got three spots where uh, you can uh, adjust the mechanism too. So it's either all the way up, and uh, when it's all the way up, the platform is flush with the uh, desktop surface. Uh, you can push it down uh, a little more than half, or a little less than halfway down. Um, and then you can, all, when you're done using the sewing machine, you can push it all the way down so that it goes. Um, in, inside the cabinet and is uh, basically locked down at the bottom. So in order to get it back up, you just kind of push down on the mechanism and it springs up um, into the middle position and then you click it down and spring it up to the top position again. But let me just uh, get into the elevation view here. So a couple of adjustments that had to be made to this cabinet. Uh, let me just open it up here. So. First of all, this is a, a pocket door cabinet. So the doors open up and then there's um, another accessory for the pocket door slides that allow the doors to open up and then slide uh, in beside or beside the cabinets, <clears throat> beside the cabinet on either side out of the way. So when the doors are open, everything is, uh, in, inside the cabinet, everything is exposed. So if I just take the doors right off here, there you can kind of see, um, obviously the, the mechanism isn't in here, but there's a false back here. Uh, there's a false back, and that is where the mechanism is attached to. Um, there's a hole cut out in the back of the false back, and that is because um, if I go to the elevation view here, there's an outlet there. So that outlet is obviously for the, um, the sewing machine to be plugged into. But, um, you know, we didn't know the exact location of that. So we left the actual cabinet back blank. So when the installer brought this cabinet on site, they uh, cut the actual hole in the cabinet back here and then fished the electrical box through and attached it to the back. So then when the sewing machine is on the platform, uh, the person operating it, like hopefully just has to reach into this hole once to plug it in. Um, so there's easy access to the receptacle through that uh, rectangular hole there. There's a cutout on the top of the cabinet uh, and that is for the actual uh, sewing machine mechanism platform to fit through. So again, when it's um, up into its operating position, the sewing machine platform will actually sit flush with um, the countertop here. So anyways, um, this is going to be a two-part uh, video. I'm going to go over the adjustments that I had to make on the actual countertop in the second part of this video here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for